So you want to convert one of your pop-up sprinkler heads to a drip system? The Mr. Landscaper Retrofit Kit makes it simple. Adrian Sanchez here for Sprinkler Warehouse. Let's get started. The Mr. Landscaper Retrofit Kit will get you from the nipple riser on your sprinkler system to the half-inch poly tubing on your drip system. This retrofit kit functions as your head assembly to your drip system, so you won't need to purchase a head assembly. Gently dig around your sprinkler head. Unscrew the sprinkler head. This retrofit kit attaches directly onto the nipple riser. Put some Teflon tape on the nipple riser. And while you're at it, throw some on the elbow adapter as well. You'll only need to put it on the smaller side of the adapter. Let's begin with the coupling. Looks like this. Screw in place. Hand tight. It really shouldn't need pliers for this. Pliers could potentially break the coupler. Next, that elbow adapter screws on like so, and then comes your pressure regulator. There should be a rubber hose washer inside. This pressure regulator will limit your pressure to 25 PSI. This is the faucet filter. It'll be going on next. Once again, check that the hose washer is inside. This little end cap unscrews, and you can pull out the mesh filter to clean. Like my granddaddy used to say, a clean mesh filter makes for a happy drip system. And last, this little adapter that connects this kit to your half-inch poly. I find it a bit easier to connect the poly tubing first. Then tighten the nut. And now screw the fitting onto the filter. It's a good idea to unscrew the cap on this filter and run a little water through it now that it's installed, just in case you get a little dirt or debris in the system when you installed the retrofit kit. And done. Except for the part where you have to, you know, put together the rest of your drip system. This layout will accept up to 300 feet of half-inch poly and a few hundred emitters. So you've installed a drip system into your sprinkler system. However, you almost certainly have additional sprinkler heads in the same zone. So here's a possible issue. Drip systems generally run for a longer time, like maybe an hour. While sprinkler zones tend to go for, say, 10 to 20 minutes. If you want to continue using sprinkler heads in the same zone, you'll need to choose drip emitters with high flow rates, preferably adjustable emitters. You'll probably want to cap off some other sprinkler heads that are now unnecessary because of your drip system. For that purpose, you can use pop-up sprinkler caps. We'll cover how to install those in another video. Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything for your irrigation needs, so your trees, lawn, flower beds, and gardens are lush and beautiful. Questions? Chat with one of our incredible customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really know their stuff and they will get you squared away. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for helpful tips, tutorials, and general sprinkler instruction. For Sprinkler Warehouse, I'm Adrian Sanchez, your Sprinkler Warehouse Pro. Later, irrigator.